so you can say to your partner, can you show me the white sweater? Can you show me the black pen? Things like this. And the other person must point to it. All right? If you don't have the cards, you can do the game with objects in your room. All right? Are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. All right. Now, can I have a volunteer come on to the table? Come up to the table? Sure. Zarni, come on up. Come on. It's all right. Um, can you show me the uh, clean hat? Great. Okay. Can you show me the thin book? The thin book. Do you know where it is? There we go. Good. Uh, can you show me the rough birdhouse? Yeah, that's right. And can you show me the smooth water bottle? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Can you show me something warm? What's warm? Yeah, that's right. Okay, great. We'll get another volunteer now. Uh, Lair, you were giving answers. So come on up. Come on up. You can do it. Come on. That's no problem. That's no problem. Okay, can you show me the dirty cleaning rag? Okay, great. Can you show me a clean towel? Okay. Can you show me a colorful tie? Colorful tie. Do we know where it is? Can anyone help? Do we know where it is? How about this? It's got all our Sesame Street characters on it. That's a colorful tie, right? Because it's got yellow and red and green and blue and some white and some gray. Very, very colorful. Let's see what you look like wearing this. Wow. A real gentleman here. Okay. Can you show me the hard drumsticks? Okay. Great. And can you show me the thick book? Wonderful. Okay. Very good. Uh, anyone else like to come up? Okay. Sablu, can you come on up? Okay. Can you hold up the warm blanket? Yeah, hold it up. Let's see. Great. Okay. Can you show me now uh, the, the soft cleaning cloth? Okay. Hold it up. Yeah. Great. Very nice. I'll actually, maybe I'll just take them here. Wonderful. Okay. Can you show me the thick book? Can you give me the thick book? Yes, the thick one. Great. I'll take that. Not bad. And can you show me the blue tie? There's a blue tie on this table somewhere. No, that's green tape. Mm -hmm. Blue. Blue tie. This is a colorful tie. Where's the blue tie? Do we know? Don't know? It's this one here. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I have one. Well, we've got two more. So, Sarah, one. Okay. Ladies first. Is that okay, Nate? You can come on up. Thank you, Seblu. Okay. I'm going to put some of this stuff back now. Okay. Can you show me the clean towel? Well, there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah. yeah, I'll just take that here. Okay. Can you show me the straight drumsticks? Okay. Yeah, very good. Can you show me the uh, something that is soft and white? Try this. Feel that. Is that soft? Yeah. Okay. All right. Soft and white. And can you show me the shiny coin? Okay, can you? Wonderful. What else can you tell me about this coin? Shiny. It's shiny, yes. And what else? It's clean, good. 
Anything else? How, how big is it? Is it big? It's small, right? Okay. And last but not least, Mr. Sar. Can you show me hmm, the rough birdhouse? Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Thank you. Can you show me the hmm, green hat? Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Can you show me the thin mm, book? Mm, not quite. Which is the thin book? That's the thin book, right. Can you show me the big book? Mm -hmm. And can you show me the colorful tie? Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, well then it looks like we understand this very, very well. So That looked like it was fun. Why don't we do that in your classroom? Take a bunch of objects, just anything you can find, and put them on the table. And then bring one person up, and someone can ask them, can you show me the black book? Can you show me the green hat? Can you show me the blue cup? Or whatever it is that's on the table. And that person must take the object and hold it up. But when you ask them, you must give a describing word. You must give the describing word first and then the name of the object. All right, are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. So this is one way we can say it. Can you show me the color or describing word and then the object? Okay, so these are all objects. Um, you can say the object is, and then use a describing word. Okay, so what can you tell me, what can you say about this? Yellow. The tie is yellow. Yes, the tie is yellow, right? The object here is, and then the describing word, okay? You can't say the, mm, well, you can say the yellow hat, but you can't say the yellow is hat. That doesn't make sense. If you're going to say the, if you're going to use is in your sentence, you can't put the describing word before is, okay? It always has to be the object, okay? So what can you tell me about, about the towel? The towel is green. The towel is green, okay. How about the drumsticks? Nay. The drumstick is hard. Okay, the drumstick is, is hard, good. How about the birdhouse? Rough. Is rough, yeah. What else can you say about it? Brown. Brown? Dirty. And yes, dirty. There's all sorts of white stuff. I don't know what it is. I hope it's clean. It might not be very clean. Okay, well, how about this book? The thin book, yes, but how about this sentence? The book is thin. Good. What else? The book is shiny, yes. It kind of Let's the light bounce off of it. What else about this book? It's it's light, yes. It's also very colorful. Mm -hmm. We have black and orange and flesh color and okay. The teacher just gave them a different way to describe things, a different kind of sentence. When we are putting the two words side by side, right together, we keep the describing word first and the name of the object second. For example, we would say the black cup, the black cup. But when we are making a different kind of sentence, we would say the cup is black. 
the cup is black. So when we put the word to be, the verb is, between the two, we change the order. This is a black cup, but the cup is black. And just the same, this is a red scarf, but the scarf is red. So when you put the verb to be, is, in between the two words, when you put it in between, we change the order. First you name the object, and then you give the describing words. So let's play that game at the table again. Someone can come up to the table, and someone else would ask them, can you show me the black cup? And the person must hold the cup up, and they would answer, the cup is black. Or someone could say, can you show me the red scarf? And the person would hold the scarf up and say, the scarf is red. So let's play the game that way. You must give it both ways. All right? Are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. Okay. So now, if you want to describe something even more, okay, you can use and. Are you familiar with this word? And. Okay. And means that whatever comes before and and whatever comes after are kind of the same, okay? But in this case, you can use it to describe one object with two, what we call qualities, two describing words. So you can say here, the, the tie, let's see if I can find it here in my pile of things, here we go, the tie, I know it's very difficult to see. The tie is, what can you tell me about the tie? Yellow. Yellow. Yes, here we go. Yellow. And colorful? Yeah, you can use it, but then we have to change yellow because we've already talked about colors. What else can you say? Tall. Yellow and tall. Yes, I think we could say that this tie is tall. It's probably almost as tall as Lair, eh? Almost. Lair is very tall. It's okay. Um, let's find tall here. There we go. Okay. It's yellow and tall. Okay. What can you tell me about... Hmm. Sure. Let's get the blanket. It's been lying here on the floor. Very lonely for some time. What can you tell me about the blanket? Large. It's large, yes. It's very, very big. Very big. It's bigger than this even. It'll get out to this big. Wow, that's a very big blanket. And what else? Big, yes. Blue. And blue. Good. So how would you say, how would you talk about the blanket using this sentence? Uh, blanket. Yes, the blanket is soft and big. Good. Okay. Then what I would like you to do now is um, take these same cards from before and use this sentence, the, and then whatever object you want to use here, is, and then use two describing words using and. Okay. Do we understand? Okay. And I'll give you the cards. You heard the teacher explaining that you can use two describing words to describe an object. And you must put and between the two describing words. And must go in the middle, between them. You can say the something, the object is one describing word and another describing word. For example, I can hold up this cup and say the cup is black and shiny. Two describing words, black and shiny. Or I can hold up the scarf 
and say the scarf is warm and red. Two describing words, warm and red. Now let's go back to the table and take turns holding up an object and giving two describing words for it. All right, are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. What can you tell me about the tie using this sentence? Tie is colorful mm -hmm. and soft. And soft, yes, it's true. What can you tell me about this, this cloth? Large. And large, okay, yeah, yeah, we could say it's a big cloth. Okay, so blue, what can you tell me about this book? book is, thick. is not thick. Thick is this. What's this? Thick. Small. Mm, small, yes, overall. And uh, let's see if I can find it. Thin. Thin. Thin, thin. thin and? And not short, small. Yes, yeah, small works very well. Okay. Um, Sar, what can you tell me about this coin? The shiny coin. Not the shiny coin, the... Co the Elispe. The coin? The coin. The coin is? Orange. Orange. Okay, orange and? Shiny. And shiny. Great. And how about the drumstick? The drumstick is hard and thin. Tall. And, and let's use a different word, not tall. Is hard and? And? What is this a, is this a big? No, I would say small or thin. It's actually a very thin drumstick. Okay. Well, I think we're going to close this lesson for now. And next time, we're going to look at how to describe objects that are different from each other. Okay? So let's take a break, and I will see you very soon. Well, let's wrap up. What did we learn today? We learned more about adjectives. We learn that they make speaking much more interesting. And we learn that when you describe something, usually you would put the describing word, the adjective first, and then the name of the thing you're describing. You would say the green hat, the blue cup. But that in a different kind of sentence, we would say the cup is blue, the hat is green. We would change the order when we put the word is or any form of the word to be in between there. And we also learned how to use two adjectives joined by the word and. We would say the hat is warm and green. The cup is black and shiny. So let me see if we can close now doing that. We would say today's lesson was fun 